the training that is given in the roving caregivers program is geared towards delivering the content that the rovers use when they go out there to do the early stimulation. In addition to getting the content, they're also required to make the material that is used in the early stimulation program. We have three yearly training, that three one week yearly training. And we have at this time people coming in, resource persons to do different aspects of the training. We have persons looking at areas such as child development, interpersonal relationship, health and hygiene, um, HIV and the young child, to name just a few of the topics that are delivered during the training. Most of the songs are adapted, right? Some are American style, English style, but we are right now in the process of combining, compiling our own songs and getting our own Jamaican music or some of the so-called reggae beat together so that we can have our own authentic music for our children. So we are presently in that process right now. Songs. We do rhymes and we do jingles and the children they all love these songs so much and most of the time they are the ones who teach the parents to sing the songs because some of the time the parents will be singing the songs in a different tune or putting different words and they will stop them and say no mommy no daddy that's not how it was taught to me by the caregiver this is the way I know it let's sing it this way. Songs and games, we talk about the care of the child, we look at the nutrition of the child, the health care of the child, we look at safety in the home, safety in the environment, we also look at the, the needs of the, of the special child because we, we work right across the board. We do not specialize in whether the child is a whole, a full, a whole child or the child has a disability. We, 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 we put programs in place to meet the needs of the child with specific needs who may have a disability and so on. monthly parent meetings. Parent meeting is once per month where we get the parents together after the early stimulation. Early stimulation starts in the home and you encourage the parents to come out to parent meeting once per month. The caregiver usually visits the home four times for the week and so we say parents you have a responsibility to come to us for a group meeting once per month. So we're meeting here today and usually when we meet we talk about issues that relate to the parents themselves and to the children and how to deal with them. We also set up a, a, a corner for the children where when the parents are with us in the meeting, doing the discussion, the children are taken care of in their little corner by the caregivers. And so they have the stimulation material similar to what they would put in, in the homes and they do the stimulation with the children. We are 